This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, and verse 8. It says, The mirth of Tabernacle ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up, that no man may come in. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, which is the name of the Most High, and Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And this is just going to be another video. Um, I also want to, you know, point out real quick, I am going to keep my voice relatively low, so I apologize if you have to turn the volume up, you know, even higher than usual, um, because it is earlier in the morning here. Um, but anyway, man, you know, it's going to be entitled The City of Confusion, man. Okay, which, you know, for those who don't know, obviously, you know, The City of Confusion is, um, is, you know, America, right, Babylon the Great. Okay, that's The City of Confusion that's being, you know, referred to here, man. Okay. Um, and they look, man, pretty much what you see in this verse here. Okay, the verse I started off with reading, man. Okay, you see this going on here every day, man. Okay, you know, all you got to do is, um, you know, look at the, you know, the jobless report, man. Okay, the amount of, you know, Americans who don't, you know, have a job, man. Okay, even among those who, you know, might have a job right now, it's not a secure job, right? That might be, you know, hell, they might be there one week, you know, but what, a month later, now they're out looking for another job, man. Okay, because the business either had to shut down or they, you know, more qualified person was found or something like that, you know. And that's what you got going on, man. Okay, you have what? I'm not sure of the exact statistic right now, but I believe it's, uh, I believe it's 40 million Americans. I could be mistaken. It might be, might be much higher than that or much lower. Um, I'd have to look into it. Um, but that being said, man, you know, you know, all you got to do, man, is, is, you know, walk around, just take a walk, you know, around your, uh, you know, your town or, you know, your city, you know, wherever you live. And just look at the countenance of people, man, which a countenance just means to face, right? Look upon the looks of the people, man. And what do you see, man? And I'll tell you, man, right, <laughs> you know, all I see, man, you know, is, is what, nothing but doom and gloom, man. All right, that's all you see, man. All right, ain't nobody happy here, man. Ain't nobody happy in America, man. Ain't nobody have any money. Okay, ain't no, and that's that's pretty much, you know, the whole, um, you know, struggle, man. That's pretty much what all these, you know, situations and, you know, problems, you know, are re revolving around, man. As everybody is broke here in this country, man. Okay, hey, look, man, America, you know, Babylon the Great is not that, um, really is not that that great city anymore man okay because that's losing that that name man. it's starting to lose that name okay why because you know we're not in the time right now of where this nation is is prospering man those days are long gone man that was like what you know the 50s you know the 50s the 60s right 70s you know if you talk to people who lived in those time periods man I, or all you got to do is watch, you know, maybe say documentaries or, you know, you know, anything, you know, from history relating, you know, to that era in American history, man, that you can see it. But that was the golden years, man. Those were the, 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 the golden age of the United States of America, man. Okay, but pretty much, you know, from that point on, man, you know, that was the, the time, you know, that America was what that great, that great light to the world, man, right, that great, you know, right, great Babylon, okay, which America still is today, but, you know, the point of the matter, man, is she's losing that, that, um, I was what I'm looking for, she's losing that name, so to speak, and why is that, because for one, you know, all you got to do is look at the, the concrete, man, look at the, uh, the roads, man, if the roads are all broken, the, the concrete's all, you know, crooked and, you know, broken. The, the buildings, a lot of them are, 
you know, shit as well, man. The bridges, I mean, hell, you had, you know, uh, well-known, you know, bridge collapse, you know, in Florida, what, like two months ago or something? Okay, so, you know, the, I believe it would be, the correct word would be infrastructure, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, of the, um, you know, of America is bad right now, man. All right, and not just that. You know, the people ain't doing good either, man. Okay, and I mean, <laughs> anybody out there, you know, who, uh, you know, would tell you that, um, you know, everything's fine, man. That's, that's what they want you to think, man. Right, that's what they want you to think, is that everything is fine right now. And that's not true. Right, that clearly is not true, man. Okay, things ain't fine right now, man. All right, things ain't fine. Okay, things... Things are, are bad right now. We're in bad times, man. Okay, we're in bad times. Hey, look, man. These, the days we're in now, man. This is what? This is the beginning of sorrows, man. All right? Known as, what is that? Um, after the 24th chapter, man. Okay? And Christ gave the, you know, the warning signs to look for, man. What he said, what? That, um, you know, nation would rise against nation, right? Kingdom against kingdom. Right? You'll have famines and, you know, pestilences. And the earthquakes and you know uproars of the people and that's happening every single day man right all those things are happening directly in america babylon the great but not only in america those things are happening worldwide man and i mean every single day man okay these things are happening that you know christ told us to look for man it'll be what the sign of his coming and at the end of this age man okay so you know you got guys out there you know, which I know some of them, I know some of them, you know, who claim to be, you know, pastors, you know, and they, you know, they cheat, they teach in these, uh, you know, Christian churches, man. But if you bring up these, you know, conversations about them, the only thing they'll say is, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I see why you say that, but the whole thing at the end of the day, it comes down to, um, they say, well, people have been saying that for hundreds of years, so it's no different today. That's pretty much their whole, you know, spew. Which again, as I said, I, I understand why they would say that. But that shows what? That they don't know the scriptures. Those guys don't know the scriptures. Because, you know, what other time in history where things like, were like they are today, man? And you, you, nobody can answer that. Now, yeah, you know, throughout history, the wars happen. Yeah, throughout history, the tornadoes and pestilences happen. Yes. All right? Did all those things mentioned happen? Yes. But... Were they all happening on top of each other at the same time? No. But they are today, though. Okay, so that gives us what? That shows us, man, that, you know, we're on the, the verge, man, where, you know, Christ or, you know, Yahushai is really going to return, man. Okay? And we know what? We have to go for the Great Tribulation. Okay, with Jacob's struggle. We got to go for that, you know, time period, man. Okay, before you know, Christ, or, you know, Yahushai, you know, makes his, you know, grand appearing, man. We first have to go through that time of trouble, okay? And that's, you know, guys like, you know, Mind of God, or, you know, um, you know, certain of these other guys out here, they won't tell you that, right? Because they want you to, to be looking, you know, to, uh, you know, to escape those things. Okay, that's not, hey, look, man, those guys are going to be, uh, We'll say just disappointed, man, okay, when they find themselves, you know, stuck here in the center of, um, you know, of Jacob's trouble, man, right? In the middle of Jacob's trouble, they're still going to be stuck down here, right? Where did that rapture go? It didn't happen. Why? Because it wasn't supposed to happen yet, okay? Um, let me see. I believe I had another verse that I was uh, keeping up. All right, this is the book of um, Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 14. It says, The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. Let's stop there for a second. Actually, we'll read on. It says, As a drunken man staggers in his vomit, neither shall there be any to work for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. And that day shall Egypt be like unto woman, and they shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh above it. 
Now stop right there a second, because somebody's going to say, well, that's not talking about today, that's talking about ancient Egypt. Well, that's not true, because if you knew the scriptures, then you would know that, um, that America, right, or Babylon the Great, is referred to as Egypt. And what is that? That's Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. Okay, that city which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Okay, and, and what is that talking about? That's talking about America. Okay, but the point is, man, this is what's going on, man. The Lord mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of this place, man. And I mean, hell, man, you know, it's, uh, I mean, it's getting so bad here, man, where, um, you know, I was, uh, I was watching, you know, TV the other day. I was watching, you know, YouTube. I believe I was watching, um, I want to say Food Theory, right? Food Theory, you can look that up. I was watching one of their videos the other day, man, and, you know, as I was, uh, you know, sitting there watching it, there's, you know, an ad came on. So it was like, you know, I was sitting there watching the ad, and, you know, pretty much there was this woman there talking, man. She was like, I mean, hell, man, like my type, right? You know, beautiful, you know, um, long, you know, hair, man, you know, you know, thin, you know, attractive, man. Just, you know, sitting there on the couch. And then, um, you know, when she, I didn't notice it at first. But as the, you know, the video went on, it turned out that they revealed that what? That he was actually a man, but he changed himself into a woman. So here I am sitting here looking at this beautiful woman thinking, oh, yeah, I want to, you know, get, I want to get with that right there. But it turned out that it was actually a man. But I mean, hey, I didn't know. It looked directly identical to a, a woman, man. All right, and that's the age that we're in, man. That's the age that we're in. That you, there's some people that you might walk by every day that you might that might look like a woman, but you don't actually know if they are, man. Okay, and this is this is the situation that we're in, man. All right, this is the situation that we find ourselves in, man. Okay, um, let me see. Um, you know, not only that, man. You got, um, you know, these little ass kids, man, like what, three years old, four years old, man, you know, they're being asked, you know, well, well are you, are you, uh, right, are you, are you inside joke, <laughs> Reese's commercial anyway, right, are you, you know, a male or a female, it's like, wait a second, how the hell is this person who can't even wipe their own ass, how are they even able to decide? You know, if they're, what, what gender they are. As I said, these are people who can't even wipe their own ass yet, man. But yeah, they can decide what gender they are and are not yet. Come on, man. It's just, this place is too much, man. Right? This place is really just too much anymore, man. Right? This place is just doing too much, man. Right? Hey, look, man. When you, when you fault that, um, you know, when you sit back and think that it's done enough, it will surprise you with a whole new level. Of insanity, man. Not just what it does, man. It, it never fails, you know, to, um, you know, it never fails to increase and bring up something even worse. It never does. It will never fail to do so, man. All right? It would just bring another, you know, level of perversion, man. Okay? Which, um, you know, the other day, man, I saw a, uh, a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? When I was on YouTube, I was scrolling down. You know, the, uh, the search bar there, you know, looking at all the recommended videos, and there was a, a little post there from, from uh, uh, RT, which is basically uh, a news agency in Russia called Russia Today. Um, you can look them up on YouTube, you'll see it, the RT. Uh, anyway, it was about, um, you know, here in America, it was an article about that there was a, um, uh, from my, if my memory serves me correct, basically what it was is um, a father was trying to, you know, marry his daughter, man. Okay, or something like that. Okay, and that's that's going off, man. That's going off, according to the scriptures. All right, but they, they were, you know, most likely going to let him do it. Why? Because, you know, here in America, you're allowed to do those things, man. Right here in America, you can sleep with animals. You can sleep with a horse. You can sleep with a dog. You can do that. But you can't sleep with a woman who's under a magic number. You can't do that, though. You can't sleep with your cousins. That's some, that's some type of, like, pervertedness. But the Bible says you can do it, though. But here in America, you can't do that, though. 
right? Here in America, you can sleep with somebody who's the same sex as you, but you can't sleep with a woman who's under a magic number, right? And you can't sleep with your cousin, which, by the way, both of those things the Holy Book allow you to do, man. Okay, but here in America, you can do any type of sexual perversion, but those two things you can't do. And coincidentally enough, the Bible says that you can do both of those things. Okay, but here in America, Babylon the Great, you can't do those two things. Okay? There are any type of, any level of, uh, you know, sexual perversion is allowed, but yet those two things you can't do, though. Those are pretty much the only two things you can't do. Okay? It's just insanity, man. It's just, it's too much. This place has done too much, man. And what is that? That's, uh, I believe that's, uh, Revelation chapter 18 and verse, uh, no, let's even go ahead and get that real quick. Bear with me a second. Yeah, one of my favorite, you know, chapters, man. All right. Let me just see. Uh... All right, we'll start at verse 4. This is Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. It says, And I heard, this is John speaking here, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye perceive not of her plagues. And we'll stop there for a second, man. Now this is what, this is, how do you come out of America? That's, you know, now, hey, look, if you want to flee and go to another country, then hey, good on you, man. If you want to do that, then that's all good. But you know what? We have faith that we're going to be delivered from this place, man. Because that's where the prophecy says that we're going to be delivered from. Okay, so before that great destruction comes, we're going to be delivered from this place, man. Okay, but hey, if you want to go to another country, then you're all, oh, that's all good, man. Because the elect are going to be saved from out. Every nation of the world, man. And that's, what is that? I believe that's Matthew, the 24th chapter. Okay, nations of the world. All, hey, look, Israel is scattered throughout the entire earth, man. But the bulk of them are, are in America, okay? Anyway, uh, verse 5, it says, um, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh has remembered her iniquities. Right, and that's what I wanted to get, man. Okay, America's, you know, sins, America's abominations have ascended to the heavens, man. Which, what is sin? By very definition, according to the scriptures, what is that, First John 3 and 4? For sin is the transgression of the law. Right, sin is the transgression of the law. So therefore we know here, that what, what did America do? It transgressed the laws, which the laws weren't given to America to begin with. All right, you, you got these idiots out here, man, talking about, well, at one time, you know, at one time, you know, America was blessed by God. Hell are you talking about? The hell are you talking about? Show me in the scriptures one time where the Lord blessed Babylon the Great. Show me one time in the scriptures where the Lord blessed or, or is dealing with any other nation other than the nation of Israel. Show me that. Anybody, I challenge you to show me that in the scriptures. And if you can't, well, then you're going completely off then. Okay? It's just full of shit, man. All right? Anyway, man. You know, I'm not going to make this too much longer, man. But, you know, the point of the matter, you know, has been proven, man. Okay, is that, you know, hey, look, man. You know, America, you know, the city of confusion, man. Okay, this place is clearly coming to an end before our eyes, man. Okay, you know, before our eyes, we're seeing it, man. Okay, the downfall of this place is undeniable, man. And I, as I mentioned earlier, man, you know, I, I mean, hell, man. You know, I was, I was walking... You know, on the sidewalk the other day, man, I damn near tripped over it probably, what, 10 times, probably, in like 20 minutes, man. Why? Because you have, you know, <laughs> concrete, you know, for the sidewalk is, um, you know, it's all crooked, man, all, you know, cracks in everywhere, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's just a testament, man, that this place is, uh, it's clearly going out, man. All right, this place is clearly done, man, with everything, you know, that we got going on right now, man. Okay, I mean, you know, I mean, hell, man, you don't even have to be, you know, quote-unquote, you know, spiritual person, 
you know, to, to acknowledge this, man. I mean, hell, everybody can see this, man. All right, I mean, people in the world, you got guys out there who are, um, we'll say, econ uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Economists, I believe, would, would be the word to use, or, you know, just guys out there who are, you know, investors or, you know, political people. Even they're doing videos, you know, on YouTube talking about, well, is this the end of the American empire? And a lot of them are saying, yes, man, this looks like this is the end of America. Which, of course, we happen to agree because that's what the scriptures say. But, hey, even, you know, the reason I'm bringing that out is, you see, even people who are in the world, it won't have anything to do with, you know, this truth. Even they can see, man, that this place is going down, man. Okay, but anyway, you know, I'm going to, you know, call that the video there. You know, I hope that was edifying to all of you brothers. Um, anybody that made it this far into the video, uh, put hashtag moon pie in the comment section down below. So once again, anybody that made it this far into the video, put hashtag moon pie in the comment section down below. Anyway, with that being said, I want to say shalom.